Hello, my name is Sasa and in this video I will show you how to export an object from Blender and import it into Roblox Studio and then how to make it like a hat or helmet, okay? Basically, if you are planning to make your own hats or helmets, okay, you can use this tutorial as a guide. My name is Sasa and don't forget to like this video before we start. Well, the first thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to go to Blender here we have our finished uh, hat or object and it is also with the texture this is the texture this image okay that i am using if you check so this is the textures colors we have very simple colors for this model uh, this helmet that i have okay so everything is in one mesh so the thing that i'm going to do is first save the image okay I save the image, save it in a folder, and then I'm going to select my object, and then I'm going to go here to File, Export, Wavefront, OBJ, and then Selection Only. I can select object groups or object groups, whatever. Okay, in this case, it is, it's not important because it is just one mesh, okay? So well, and then we just go for this option, Path Mode, Copy, and that's all. Okay, so I just use a name, for example, helmet. Let's call it helmet. That code that because this is based in this character from Piggy, remember? Dakota helmet dot obj. We export. That's it. And then we are going to go to Roblox Studio. You need to publish your game and then you go here to view asset manager after you publish you have this option as manager if you don't publish your game it's not possible so you have the assets manager and then you just click here in the asset manager just import the obj, uh, OBJ dakota helmet then you can say rescale it if it's too large reverse import yes just, just keep it like default then just wait for this thing you have it double click and there you have it over there also with the texture okay so that's pretty cool in the case that you don't have the texture well you just can look here for the texture and you upload the texture uh, well I have some problems with here no that, that's okay so this is the helmet that I have and it's ready now if you want to make it like a real hat uh, I'm not an expert in these things, but uh, we can do it, okay? So here, let's just do it. We go to workspace, and then we just... Okay, I had a problem in the base plate, in this new base plate, so I had to return to the old base plate in Roblox. I don't know if it was like a book or something, but well. To start making your accessory, we are going to have here like this thing. Okay, we are going to create here in workspace an accessory. Then in accessory, I'm going to add here a part. I'm going to rename this part as handle with H, capital H, handle. Then inside here, I'm going to add a mesh, special mesh. And then I'm going to copy from the object that I imported the mesh ID, control C, mesh ID, and the uh, texture ID, control C, control texture ID. That's it. Now, with this handle, I'm going to just scale it a little bit, the handle. Oh, sorry, the handle. Let me check if I can scale it. No, I cannot scale it. Uh, I guess I won't be able to scale the handle without modifying this. So I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to scale this thing, making it like a square. And then I'm going to drag again the mesh inside the handle 
Okay. So we have that. So let me check if it's center. It's not center, but well, anyway. Let's put it over here. So again, I just move this. I move it a little bit forward and I move this one. I guess uh, that's okay if we can move just the offset, probably in the y axis too. Oh, but this is for the mesh, for the handle. Let me check if I can move it. Uh, here, x, y, z, 10. Now it's moving everything. Well, anyway, so let's fix this thing. Let's move the mesh. Minus two. No. So two. Let's call it three. Handle. Not too much. Two. Okay. That's better. One point three. The mesh, and then I'm going to add a rig. Well, in this case, a man rig. Now, if you see, he has some attachments where we can put accessories. Okay, so you can see these using constraint details, and you can see them in Prolos. Now, if you go to the dummy head and you look for the attachment, he has different attachments, face, front, hair attachment, and hat attachment. We're going to use the hat attachment. We're going to copy the name, hat attachment. Use the name, copy the name. And then here, in our accessory, we are going to create here a handle. Handle, uh, attachment, I mean. And then this attachment we're going to rename it as cat attachment. If you see now we have inside this uh, helmet we have an attachment. So if we well, let's rename this to Dakota Dakota helmet and let's drag this thing to the dome. Okay, if you check it's not properly placed, we can adjust this just by moving the attachment in the Dakota. So we click here, handle, hat attachment. If we move it forward, it's going to go backwards. Okay, so let's drag this thing back. I am selecting the hat attachment. Check, that's it. We can take it up and down. Also, uh, well, this helmet is worth like this, but it's like, oh, my arms. Well, I guess it's very important that. Not a perfect helmet, I know. I guess that's okay. So you adjust here and you move to have the the helmet, the center, or whatever. Okay, we can move it forward, backward, I center this thing a little bit, and that's it. You have your attachment, you have uh, your helmet, and you are ready to export this to Roblox. Save to Roblox, you give it a name, and you have your very own accessory to use.